good morning guys uh, we shall be doing bank reconciliation statement today now what are we going to learn in this chapter we'll be learning first what do you mean by cash book what do you mean by pass book why do we make a bank reconciliation statement what are the reasons why what causes differences in the bank reconciliation statement then we'll be looking into the differences then how do we make a brs statement finally we do something called as an adjusted cash book so let's start first what do you mean by a cash book and a pass book we say a cash book is a book which has been prepared by the accountant which shows all the transaction with the bank whereas a pass book is the customer's account in the books of the bank so the cash book is maintained by who by us which shows all the transactions with the bank pass book is maintained by the bank which shows all the transaction bank has done with us this is the first point we need to understand the second point we need to understand is for me as a person if i deposit money into the bank bank becomes my debtor and as we know assets have a debit balance so whenever i have deposited money into the bank the bank has to pay back money to me at my own request right so for me bank is a debtor for a bank i become a liability therefore we call it as a creditor so if i have a debit balance in the bank we say it to be a favorable balance whereas a as per passbook if i have a credit balance we say it is favorable when do we say it to be unfavorable an unfavorable balance is when i have a negative bank balance that means i will have to pay money to the bank therefore bank becomes my creditor for a bank has a right to collect money from me so for a bank i become a debtor so the reverse of the favorable balance becomes a unfavorable balance are you guys clear with it next why do we make a bank reconciliation statement on a given date because a cash book what i have prepared as an accountant and a pass book is the same all the transactions i do with a bank i record it all the transactions bank has done with me bank will record it at the end of every period these both should match if it does not match i need to find out the reasons for those differences bank reconciliation is not an account it's a statement which reconciles the differences between a cash book and a pass book clear now why brs is required we say a brs is required to find out three things or we say four things first if there are any errors which are created second i have issued a check but the customer has not remitted as of now or i have received a check from the customer but i have not recorded so if there are any undue delay in the check clearances i would have made a payment and <gasps> payment has not passed through third reason is if there is an embezzlement embezzlement means misusing of the funds fourth one is to find out the actual position from the bank so four reasons why we make a brs first one is to find out errors second one is to find out if there are any undue delay in the check clearance third one to disgrace the accountant from the bank from this embezzlement fourth is to find out the actual position from the bank next what causes the differences there are three things what we look at first one is timing difference 
second one transactions third one is errors so we have divided the cost for differences into three categories timing transactions and errors now let's look into a timing difference a timing difference is basically when the recording of a transactions happen at two different times in the cash book as well as in the pass book let's try understanding through an example a issues check to be when will a record a will record in his books the day e issues check when will the bank record the bank will record when b presents check to bank for payment b presents check to bank for payment therefore let's say i issued check on 1st january b went to bank on 3rd feb that means there is a one month timing gap between the time of issue of a check and the time where it gets recorded in the bank this causes a difference in the cash book balance and pass book balance if you look into it as on 31st jan because as on 31st jan i have said the money has been paid whereas bank will not show any decrease in the balance because b has not presented it this we call it as a timing difference so see here a records in cash book when checks are issued bank records when b presents it for payment this difference we call it as the timing difference second is the transactions what do we call transaction difference there are certain times ecs ecs stands for electronic clearing system certain times bank carries out transactions without intimating the customer because of the prior request certain times it can be either interest received or let's say you would have given a standing instruction to the bank to make your telephone or electronic bills electricity bills or certain times bank charges the bank would have made those payments or received those payments but as a customer i will only get to know when i receive bank statements so again this causes a difference the third one errors now the errors can be committed either by the accountant or by the bank when i check both my statements if there are any errors let's say there are sometimes bank has deducted more money then you can intimate the bank to get it rectified are you clear with it now let's look into it what are the transactions which causes differences added cash book gets added once you get a pass book statement next one interest and expenses charge charge means they have deducted from your pass book balance so pass book reduce cash book cash book what you will have to do is you will have to find out till you get a pass book balance and then you will record so the first recording happens in the pass book interest and dividends collected by bank that means pass book you would have added it cash book you will add once you get the pass book statement direct payments by the bank therefore in pass book the amount would have reduced first then once you get a cash uh, pass book you will reduce it from the cash book balance direct payment into the bank by the customer that means the customer has paid it to your bank account that means in your pass book the balance will be more then you will record it in your cash book next one bills collected by the bank on behalf of the customer that means pass book is showing higher balance then you will record it in the cash book now let's just look into it who records it when checks are issued it's first recorded in the cash book balance reduces checks received again cash book you will add checks or bills directly collected by the bank will be recording it in the pass book plus dishonor of the bill pass book minus interest and dividend collected by the bank 
पासबुक प्लस बैंक चार्जेस इज गोन बी पासबुक माइनस हाउ डू वी प्रिपेयर अ बी आर एस स्टेटमेंट नाउ इन अ बी आर एस स्टेटमेंट बी आर एस आइडिया इज टू मेक फाइंड आउट द कैश बुक बैलेंस मेक इट ईक्वल टू द पासबुक बैलेंस दैट इज अ स्टेटमेंट वेर वंस यू मेक ऑल आइडेंटिफाई ऑल द डिफरेंसेज योर कैश बुक बैलेंस शुड बिकम इक्वल टू द पासबुक बैलेंस then we say brs is prepared as per cash book that means cash book becomes a base for recording from the cash book you will try arriving at a balance of the pass book vice versa if it want we can also do brs keeping pass book as a base then i would have to arrive at the balance as per cash book so brs can either be prepared as per cash book or as per pass book now understand the next part is see when i am trying to make a change if i am trying to make my balance of cash book as per pass book i can only make changes in the cash book i cannot make changes in the pass book so we follow a rule called if i am doing brs as per cash book we consider cash book to be human's book and pass book to be god's book now what's the difference we say we will follow god and we will reverse whatever has been done by the humans we will follow the god and reverse the humans now if i am doing brs as per cash book my pass book becomes god's book so if i have done a transaction if i have added in the pass book in my brs statement also i will add it if i have reduced it in the pass book i will also reduce it that is follow your pass book and whatever i have done in the cash book let's say i have added in the cash book i will reverse it that means i will reduce it in my brs statement if i have reduced it i will add it in my br statement now keeping this rule in place let's try finding out certain transactions first checks deposited but not cleared so in the cash book i have added it if i am doing brs as per cash book i told you follow rule is what follow pass book reverse cash book so if i am doing brs as per cash book whatever i have done in the cash book in the brs statement i will reverse it checks issued cash book minus so in my brs statement i will add it checks currently deposited into the bank by the customer that means in the pass book you have added it in the brs statement also you will add it now interest or income directly received by the bank in the pass book you have added it therefore in the brs statement also you will add it expenses directly paid by the bank that means in the pass book you have reduced it in brs statement also you will reduce it bank charges levied by the bank pass book minus therefore in the brs statement also minus wrong debit in the cash book wrong debit in the cash book means debit is an asset or uh, cash book is an asset so debit would have increase so in my cash book i have added it so in my brs statement i will reduce it because i have to reverse cash book minus is wrong credit wrong debit in the pass book means in the pass book you have minused it in brs also you will minus it wrong credit in the pass book pass book you have added so in the brs statement also you will add it next one under casting of the debit side in the cash book debit side in the cash book is showing lower balance that means in the cash book it's been minus so you will add it under casting of the debit side of the bank account in the cash book so cash book is showing plus so over casting means showing lower under casting means showing higher 
Undercasting of the credit side means you are showing lesser expense. That means your cash book is showing higher balance. So you will reduce it. The reverse will be plus. Now keeping this rules in place, let's try doing this question. Balance, I am get given a balance as per cash book, balance as per. So I'll try arriving from cash book to a passbook balance. Now let's see balance as per cash book, 2,40,000. Checks issued but not presented. Checks issued but not presented. What does it mean? That in my cash book, I have reduced it. I am doing BRS as per cash book. That means I have to reverse it. So I will add checks issued. 1,36,000. Next one. Checks deposited. Checks deposited means as per BRS statement, I would have add uh, I would have added in my cash book. So now I have to reverse it. Reverse checks deposited 90,000 bank charges amounting bank charges you would have reduced it in the passbook so I have to follow the passbook minus bank charges 300 interest credited means in the passbook you have added the interest therefore here also you add the interest 1 2 5 0 Therefore, the total comes to 286,950, which is the balance as per passbook, which matches. Guys, if you need this uh, working note, just drop in your mail ID. I'll forward it to you guys uh, after this. Now, let's look into it. If I'm doing my BRS as per passbook, now, if I am doing my BRS as per passbook, the rule is simple. We will follow the other book, which is cash book. Whatever is in the passbook, I am going to reverse it. So, checks issued but not cleared. In the cash book, I have added it. Therefore, in the BRS as per passbook, also I will add it. Checks issued but not presented to the bank, cash book minus. Therefore, here also I will minus it. Checks directly deposited into a bank by a customer you have added in the passbook. So you have to reverse. So it will be minus. Income directly received by the bank passbook plus. So therefore in the BRS statement you will do minus. Expenses directly paid by the bank passbook minus. Therefore you will add it. Bank charges levied passbook minus. Therefore in the BRS you will add it. Wrong debit in the cash book. Cash book you have done plus. So BRS also you will add it. Wrong credit minus here also minus. Wrong debit in the passbook minus. So you will debit it. Wrong credit in the passbook plus you will minus it. Now undercasting of the debit side cash book you have reduced. So therefore in the BRS as per passbook also you will reduce. Next one plus minus my plus. You will also do plus minus minus are you guys clear so the rule is simple if you're doing brs as per passbook follow the cash book reverse the follow the cash book reverse the passbook entries now let's look into the same question and check how are we going to do it for the uh, passbook question i'll just take this So let's just look into the same question. Uh, I'll start balance as per passbook and I will try arriving at the cash book. What's the rule? Follow the uh, cash book, reverse the passbook entries. So balance as per passbook. So I'll start with balance as per passbook 286,950. 
then interest credited by the bank that means you have added in the passbook so you'll reduce it 1250 bank charges you have reduced in the passbook therefore you will add it bank charges checks deposited into the bank you have added in the cash book therefore you will add it in the brs also brs as per passbook add checks deposited 90000 checks issued minus checks issued 1 lakh 36000 so the closing balance comes to 2 lakh 40000 which is my balance as per cash book the next one we would be doing is another question so look into it on 31st march they have showed a balance of 150000 to a credit in as per cash book was 120 so pass book showed a balance of 150 while the cash book showed a balance of 125 so let me start taking balance as per pass book as a base which is 150000 rule is what if i am doing brs as per passbook follow passbook and reverse sorry sorry follow cash book and reverse passbook so 150000 to a credit while balance as per cash book was 150 she issued a check issuing check 80000 out of which only 32 were presented that means 48000 was still not presented when you have issued check that means you have reduced in your cash book so here also you'll reduce 48000 next one she received a check check received you will add it in the cash book here also you'll add check received which is 5000 checks of 48 22000 deposited so add checks deposited which is 22000 then gupta deposited 15700 into the bank so it's directly deposited into the bank that means recorded as add in the pass book so you have to reverse it minus gupta which is 15700 then bank credited an interest bank crediting an interest means what as per pass book credit means they have added it therefore i have to reverse it minus interest 1500 so the total comes to 112050 this is the balance as per the cash book the next topic we'll be doing is overdrafts or unfavorable balance now what do you mean by an overdraft balance is overdraft balance is basically when you are drawing more than your available limit so as per cash book if you have a credit balance we say negative balance is overdraft and as per pass book you should have a debit balance then we call it to be an overdraft now when we are doing brs for overdraft balance i can follow the same rule only challenge is whenever it is overdraft write it as minus minus then follow the same rule it becomes more easier so let's just look into one question and see how do we do it now i have a following question the following particular ascertain the balance should appear in the pass book as on uh, a so the balance here is bank overdraft as per cash book so the moment they say a bank overdraft as per cash book what i will do is i'll write balance as per cash book as minus 136340 interest overdraft charge so when i'm doing brs as per cash book follow the pass book reverse the by interest overdraft interest on overdraft is an expense therefore in the pass book you have reduced it here also you reduce it bank charges of 400 been debited in the pass book only therefore bank charges also is reduced in the pass book so you reduce it in your brs statement all checks issued but not paid when you are issuing checks you would have reduced it in the cash book so you have to reverse it therefore add checks issued 
वन वन सिक्स एट ट्रिपल ज़ीरो चेक्स पेड इन टू द बैंक बट नॉट क्लियर बिफोर दैट मीन्स यू हैव वेन यू आर सेंग चेक्स चेक्स इशूड बट नॉट कैश ओवर चेक्स पेड इन टू द बैंक मीन्स यू हैव डेपॉजिटेड अ चेक दैट मीन्स यू हैव यू वुड हैव एडेड इन द कैश बुक सो नव यू हैव टू रेड्यूस चेक्स डेपॉजिटेड टू टू वन सेवन ट्रिपल ज़ीरो इंटरेस्ट ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स कलेक्टेड बाय द बैंक इंटरेस्ट ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट्स वुड बी बेसिकली दैट यू हैव एडेड इन द पास बुक सो यू हैव टू डू द रिवर्स माइनस सॉरी यू हैव टू फॉलो द पास बुक देर फॉर इंटरेस्ट कलेक्टेड ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड इफ यू गेट now do the addition if you do the total it comes to 144100 the answer is positive not negative that means it's a favorable pass book balance if the answer was negative then we would have said it as unfavorable balance since the answer when you do the addition it comes to be negative or oh, sorry positive that means it, the answer ends up to be a favorable balance there's also another way what we can do is we also follow this rule if you guys don't want to take it as negative but want to do it as it is you can consider your cash book unfavorable balance to be equal to the pass book favorable balance now what is the rule for the pass book favorable balance follow cash book and reverse pass book so don't change the signs just follow the same thing and for pass book unfavorable balance will be equal to the cash book favorable balance that means in the statement i will follow my pass book reverse cash book thank you guys